G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play True Colors by Justin Timberlake and Anna Kendrick, originally by Cindy Lauper. And this is an awesome finger picking song. It's very simple as well, so it's gonna be pretty good for the beginners out there. Now, if you wanna master your chords, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you wanna improve on your finger picking and your guitar in general, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Now, for the basics of this song, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you will need a capo on the fourth fret of your guitar. Let's jump in the lesson. So I'm gonna start by teaching you the finger picked version, but if you want an easy strummed version, then skip ahead to the second part of this video. Let's start with the intro slash break, and we have an A minor seven shape to start us off. Now for our finger picking basics, your thumb will take care of the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings, and your index ring and middle finger will take care of the third, second, and first strings respectively. Ideally, they shouldn't pluck any other strings other than the ones they've been assigned to. So we're gonna start with the intro slash break, and this is based around an A minor seven chord shape. So get into the A minor seven position. We're going to have our index finger lifted to begin with though, and your pinky finger is gonna be on the third fret of the first string. We have four plucks for this shape. We're gonna start by pinching the bass note in the first string together, and then the open second string, and then the first fret of the second string, and then back to the first fret, and then back to the first string. So those four plucks. Now for the second half of this bar, we're gonna be basing this around a G slash B chord. So you're just gonna move your middle finger up one string. So it's the second fret of the fifth string now. And we're plucking the exact same notes. So that bar in total. Then you're gonna take your ring finger and put it on the third fret of the fifth string. Keep your pinky finger on that third fret of the first string. And we have three notes for this position. So start with the pinch, the open second string, and the first fret of the second string. So that section together. And then we go to an F chord. Now it's ideal to play the F chord like this. So ring and pinky on the third frets of the fifth and fourth, middle finger on the second fret of the third string, and index finger on the first fret of the second string. And if you can, reach your thumb over the top and hit the first fret of the sixth string, although it's not entirely necessary. So for this position, you're gonna strum the F chord, hold that out for one beat, and then lift your index and middle finger, hit the open second and third strings, then put them back down and pluck the second and third strings. So it'll sound like this. And three. Now for the third and the fourth bar, it's identical to the first and second bar, except when we get to this F, we're just gonna strum it and hold it out. So in total for the intro. Next we get to the verse, which has two lines of tab here. We're gonna start with our A minor seven again, and it's really simple, this picking pattern. So we'll break it up into chunks of four notes. We go bass note, which is the fifth string, fourth string, second and third together, and back to fourth string. So those four plucks. And then we go to a G slash B. Now for this particular G slash, put your middle finger up one string to the second fret of the fifth string and pinky finger on the third fret of the second string. We're gonna pluck the exact same strings. And then we'll go to a C chord, same picking pattern. And then we'll go to an F chord and play the same picking pattern, except our bass note is the sixth string. And then so for the first line of tab, Now that first line of tab is repeated through three times. And then for the second line of tab, the first bar is the same, but the second bar, we go to an F. We're gonna pinch the bass note, third and second strings together twice. And then we go to a C chord and pinch the fifth, third, second, and first strings together. So the second line of tab, one. So 
that's it for verse one, really nice and easy. Next we get to chorus one, which is also the same as chorus number three. So we have three lines of tab here. We're gonna start with our F and we're going to continue on with that picking pattern that we had in the verse. So bass note, fourth string, second and third, back to fourth string. So we've gotta play that with the F, C, and then a lazy G. So just put your middle finger onto the third fret of the sixth string. And that's the bass note. Play that for two picking patterns. And then we go back to F, C for one picking pattern, back to F. And then we go to a G, but we're going to strum just up till the second string, like that. For the second line of tab, we do the F again for one picking pattern. C, E major for one picking pattern. Our bass note is the sixth string here. And then A minor seven for one picking pattern. Then we go F, C, F, C. And that's it for the second line of tab. And then for the third line of tab, it's G for two picking patterns, and then we end with one bass note. So the chorus number one and chorus number three in total sound like this. Now chorus number two is almost identical to chorus number one and three, except when we hit this G at the end of the first line of tab, it's just held out for two beats and not four. So that's the only difference there for chorus number two. Now for verse number two, it's very similar to verse number one, except we're going to change the timing a tiny bit for the first line of tab. So for verse number two, we have that A minus seven, G slash B, we go to the C, but we're not plucking this with four plucks. We're just going fifth string, fourth string, second and third. And then we're going straight to our F. We're gonna pinch the bass note, third and second strings. Hold that out for one beat and then go fourth, third and second, back to fourth. So there's a slight variation there, which sounds like this. We have the same chords though. And the second line of tab is identical. Now the only other thing we need to learn for this song is the outro, which is really simple. It's just an F chord for one picking pattern, our lazy G chord for one picking pattern, and then the C, which sounds like this. But the rest of the song is just comprised of parts that we've already learned. Now I'll teach you some easy strumming if you don't want to finger pick, if you just want to strum and sing along then this is how we're gonna do it. Now for the intro, we have one line of chords. We have A minor seven, G slash B. So the G slash B is the same as a G chord, except you're going to just strum from the fifth string onwards. We don't hit that sixth string. And then we have C and then F. So the first two chords are played with four down strums. And for the C to the F, we have a longer strumming pattern that goes down, 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 down. And the point at which you're gonna change chords is on the highlighted down strum. So the intro. Next we get to verse one, it's really simple. There's two lines of chords. We have A minor seven, G slash B, C and F. And each chord is gonna be played with that simple four down strum strumming pattern. For this second line of chords, we change things up a tiny bit. So A minor seven and G slash B are the same, except we go 
to the F and then C. And they're played within that longer strumming pattern, which sounds like this. So in total, verse one sounds like this strummed. That's it for verse one. Now for the chorus, we're just gonna be hitting that four down strum strumming pattern for pretty much all of these chords. The chorus has five lines of chords, so there's a little bit to remember here, but it's pretty simple at its core. And the only other thing you'll need to consider is that in the chorus number one and chorus number three, this highlighted G chord here, so the G chord in the second line of tab, that's held out for four beats and not for two beats. But other than that, everything's identical. So let's play chorus one, for example, and it'll sound like this. Now, in the second verse, things change just a tiny bit. Now, you can play what is in the first verse. That's okay, but in the actual recording, some of the timings change a little bit. So, for the first line of chords, that C to the F is more like in the intro. So, we share one long strumming pattern, and we're going to change chords on that end beat after the two. So, one and two and three and four and... So, that first line of chords in the second verse... but everything else is the same as the first verse. And the final thing we need to learn is the outro, which is really simple. It's just an F, G, and we end with a C. And we're going to use that four down strum strumming pattern for the F and the G. So that's this simple strummed version, and the whole song is just comprised of those sections that I've taught you. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice playing along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.